What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be on auto operations. If you play minor, this video does apply to you, but if you're playing adventurous or above, don't watch this video because you don't play with order of operations. So, you might be wondering what is order of operations and why do we need it? Well, let's say for example we had a solution like this, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals. Now there are two possible interpretations. You could do 4 times 2 first, which is 8, and then add 1 to that, and 8 plus 1 is 9. Or you could do 2 plus 1, which is 3, and then multiply that by 4, which is 12. So there are multiple interpretations for the same solution, and that's where order of operations comes into play. Order of operations is represented by a fun little acronym known as PEMDAS. PEMDAS represents parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. This is the order in which you resolve conflicts when you have an ambiguous solution with more than one interpretation. I want to make one quick note. You can see that there's multiply and there's this little or here and then divide. That's because multiplication and division are on the same level. Multiplication is not above division. These are kind of on the same level. And the same applies to addition or subtraction. So if you saw a multiplication sign and a division sign, you would just go from left to right and do whichever operation came first on the left and then do the one on the right. You wouldn't do multiply over divide or you wouldn't do addition over subtraction. If you don't know what parentheses are, they're grouping that denotes modifications to normal order of operations. So if you don't want to follow this order, you can use parentheses and you can divide this order up and make it how you want it to be. For example, if you looked at the same example as before, 4 times 2 plus 1, this time the person put parentheses around 2 plus 1. Since P is at the beginning of PEMDAS, we would do the parentheses first. So 2 plus 1, we resolve that as 3. And then we do 4 times 3, which is 12. Because parentheses is at the beginning of PEMDAS, and it's, it's resolved first. Let's look at a couple of examples. The first example is going to be 3 to the power of 2 times 7 minus, in parentheses, 3 plus 1. We want to know what this equals using PEMDAS. So, the beginning of PEMDAS is P parentheses. We see parentheses in this example. So, we're going to resolve the parentheses. 3 plus 1 is 4. We just substitute 4 for 3 plus 1. So now we have 3 to the power of 2 times 7 minus 4. And we have P as parentheses. Next up is exponents. We can see here that there's a power sign. So we find the value of 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. So now we have 9 times 7 minus 4. Now we move on to multiplication. 9 times 7 is 63. And finally, we have subtraction. 63 minus 4 is 59, and that's the answer. You might be wondering, well, we didn't use division or addition. You don't have to use every step of PEMDAS in every single problem. It's just you go in the order of PEMDAS, and every time you run into that operation, you resolve it using PEMDAS. You don't have to have all of the six operations. Here's another example. Let's say we had 7 minus, in parentheses, 3 times 1 times 2 plus the square root of 4. We would begin with parentheses. Since there are two parentheses, we would go and begin with the one that is in the inner side. These, this pair of parentheses is inside this other pair, so we would do the one from the in, inside and move out. So 3 times 1 is 3. So now we're simplified down to just 3 times 2, because there's a times 2 there. So now we resolve the other parentheses. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 plus square root of 4. Now we move on to exponent, which includes the square root. The square root of 4 is 2. So now we're left with 7 minus 6 plus 2. Now, since we have subtraction and addition, they're on the same level of PEMDAS, so we would move from left to right. So we would do 7 minus 6 first, which is 1, and then we would add 2 to that, which is 3, and the answer is 3. So how does order of operations apply when you're playing equations in academic games? Well. If you're a solution presenter, you want to make sure you check your solution using PEMDAS 
to make sure you don't violate any of the rules. If you do violate it, you can always just add parentheses where you need to make it work. As a solution checker, use PEMDAS and check their solution. If their solution does not meet PEMDAS, it is incorrect. You can receive six points by saying that they didn't use PEMDAS and that's how you can win. So it's a very quick way to win. If you're a goal setter, make sure your goal has a legal interpretation using PEMDAS. Check your goal for PEMDAS. Make sure you plan your goal before you put it on the map because once a cube touches the map, remember, you can't take it off. And Remember not to go over six cubes. I know PEMDAS can apply to a lot of longer equations. Just make sure not to go over six cubes when you're setting the goal. Well, that's it. We're done. That's it. It's PEMDAS. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content. If you have questions, please comment them below and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you.